safety check is something that you might see skiers every once in a while when they know there's a score to beat and say it's like three, three buoys at whatever line length, you'll see them sometimes at a buoy or so before that kind of make a slow turn called a safety check. So a safety check is where you need to get to the next buoy, that's absolutely a given, but you gotta make sure that you're not going too hard to where you're gonna fall. So you kinda, you do an easy turn, you go for the six out of 10 turn that's guaranteed versus the eight or nine or 10 out of 10 turn that's not guaranteed. An aerial edge change is when you're having quite a lot of speed. Uh, usually it comes after a big pull uh, at the end of, of the previous turn and you, you sort of jump the wakes and as you jump the wakes, since you have so much speed, you know that you can start changing edge. <laughs> An aerial edge change is, it can normally come after say a, a lean lock or, or something and you, um, you'll attack and as you're edge changing, the ski kind of loses contact with the ground and it almost like you're airborne doing an edge change into the buoy. A lean lock is is a funny and scary feeling at the same time. Um, it's when you come out of a ball and uh, you're basically locked into a leaning position that you cannot get out of. Lean lock, I, when you're overturning a, a buoy, um, you get in this very strong position, but at the same time you're overturning a little bit with your shoulders and you get in this lean lock where you get kind of slingshot from the pull of the boat to the other side. The headwind is that when you're doing a pass, you have headwind, uh, you have wind coming in front of you, so it's gonna slow you down. And the tailwind, you have wind coming um, on the back of your um, body, so it's gonna push you forward, it's gonna be a little bit faster going to the buoy. And the crosswind is that when the wind is um, kind of sideways, it can be both sides, it can be in one side on the right or it can be coming from the left side and it's going to push you either um, wider than the buoy or closer to the buoy. So incredibly important when it comes to strategy. A headwind is generally what skiers are going to like. It's something that, it's the wind that moves towards you as you're going down the course. Uh, it slows you down. So you do need to, as, as much as you need speed to get across course, you need to decelerate to a point where, it's, where you're able to turn uh, without feeling like you're going too fast. So a headwind is, is, is a skier's friend in, in most ways. Uh, a tailwind obviously does the opposite. It's pushing you from behind, it gives you slack rope, uh, and it, it decreases your deceleration. So you will continue to have the speed that you've generated across the wakes. Uh, generally, it's not what you want. You'll find that most skiers will uh, take their hard pass that they need to run uh, or need to get you know a lot of boys out into a headwind. Um, that's the basis of a head and tailwind. Of course, the, the, the opposite, the, the, the medium of those two is a crosswind, and that's where you've got a headwind going one way and a tailwind going the other. And that's where between uh, each boy, it's a different wind. That's really hard to deal with. Uh, if, you had, if a skier had to choose, he'd want to generally have a headwind. Maybe a slight tailwind, crosswinds are really awkward. Blowout is when you come into the buoy and you're making that turn and the tip of the ski bites really hard and the tail and the fin pop out of the water and you spin around backwards. That happens because you, you whether it's because of speed or because of uh, what you're doing in your technique, you're, you're just pressing quite a lot on the front of, on your front foot, which makes the, the tip of your ski kind of ding in the water and, and really solve the pressure from the tail, which makes it, you know, overturn and it ends up sometimes just getting out of the water and, and you're, you're done, you're in the water. So opting up means skipping a uh, rope length. So let's say if I start at 32, I want to opt it up to 38. Um, I skip the 35, and uh, in order for me to complete the 38 and be uh, rewarded with that pass, I have to run the full pass. So the opt up is quite a risk because you have to complete that pass. If you miss the pass, you your scores essentially will be the number of buoys on the pass that you skipped. An S-turn is incredibly important. You'll see it all day, every day, especially in the qualifying rounds of, uh, of tournaments. It's where you come into a buoy with a lot of speed, you're late, you're not gonna make it to the next buoy, um, and it's, it's strategic. You, it's a way of taking out a lot of the speed uh, by doing an S instead of taking a straight line uh, that you have in, in order to get back to the wakes and get a full buoy scored.